What's going on, everyone? So I am in my Lexus IS250. This is the 2006 Lexus IS250. What is currently going on is that I often change my oil, I change filters, uh, intake filter, cabin air filter, all sorts of fluid, you know, spark plugs, brake fluid, all sorts of stuff when it comes to fluids or filters. What I just noticed is that I got a pretty much a uh, oil maintenance require dash light. I changed my oil and then I just parked and let my car just sit, you know, I started up here and there. But um, yeah, so it's been sitting. Basically show you guys how to reset that light because many of the times, you know, when we do our vehicle maintenance in our Lexus IS, we totally forget to hit the reset button for the maintenance to kind of like remind us. Um, and that's honestly how it is for me. Um, you know, when you got multiple vehicles or multiple things to do, you know, it's it's trying to keep up with a maintenance plan. It's like you always remember, change your oil at this certain amount of mileage, um, change the filters, change the spark plugs, but you never, I, 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 I honestly don't remember to reset my um, oil maintenance require or any other reminder that's on our vehicle of our Lexus ISO. Anyhow, further ado, I'm gonna show you guys today how to do it easily so that way you guys can save some money. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first thing first, what you wanna do is make sure it is set for ODO and not trip. You know, sometimes people have trip A, trip B. You wanna do ODO. So after that, what we're gonna do is turn the car off. We're gonna hold down on our button here, press it down and hold. And then we're gonna press the start button twice. All right, let's see if I can figure out a way to do it and keep you guys with me. One, two. And there we go, she's reset. So now we can turn it off, put my foot on the brake, start it back up. And that's it. So next video I'll do on how to get rid of all of these, uh, check four wheel drive, VAC, check system. That's all going towards my um, wheel speed sensor. So I gotta replace them all on this vehicle. Uh, I did the cleaning, uh, but the cleaning just won't do. Got to replace them. So they got some bad sensors. I did plug up my, uh, you know, the tech stream. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the name of it. Um, for uh, Toyota's uh, check engine tool system. And it pretty much uh, did confirm that um, some sensors in the back are bad. So I'm going to just replace them all. But I'm just waiting for that very beautiful moment where things go on sale. So... Totally forgot to include how to reset your maintenance reminders on your vehicle. So you have your oil light that basically pops up on the dashboard, but also at the hit unit, you have a couple of other maintenance reminders uh, notification. Now, of course, to some, it may be a no brainer, but not to all people they may not be aware of this actual feature. So I got the key here. What I'm gonna do is just press this button. Okay, put it to the on position. Select info from our heat unit. Okay, so now from information, we're gonna select maintenance. Okay, so as you can see, so these are some additional maintenance reminders. You have your engine oil, brake pads, service, oil filters, wipers, air filter, rotation for your tires. Uh, the LLC is basically, uh, it's more so integrated to your cooling system. Okay. Personal, which you can basically add personal configuration reminders. You can just, you know, jot some notes and then set it to remind you. Uh, you have tire rotation, 
break oil which w w what it means by break oil is basically your oil fluid okay well what it means by brake oil, it's referring to your actual brake fluid, okay? So, don't want to kind of confuse you guys by that verbiage, but that basically means brake fluid. Alright, so I'm going to stand back a little bit so you guys can see what I'm going to direct you to. So, for the driver's side location here, this is where you're going to find your brake fluid, okay? So, again, that's your brake fluid and of which you want to change your brake fluid at X amount of miles. Each and every vehicle may be different, but that's definitely something that you want to change. Okay, so the next maintenance reminder is battery. So this reminder can be used for X amount of things, okay? Let's come over here to the battery. Let's talk, let's talk, baby. I like to talk to you guys. Yeah, okay. So, so this is our battery. Now, a couple of things that you want to keep in mind when it comes to maintenance of your battery. You want to ensure that your battery terminals are well clean. So we can just pop this cover off here and you can see my battery terminal is not corroded. But for the most part, it's okay. Underneath of right here, looks like we have a little bit of corrosion coming. So we we'll keep an eye on that one. But uh, for the most part, the terminal itself is not corroded and the terminal is not loose. Okay. So those are some things that you want to inspect. Also, typically these batteries, they have an actual uh, expiration date. Some you can visually see here. Some is on the side. Um, you want to keep an eye on it. And some may be at the far bottom right here, which that says 12 December 2020. Okay, so that's what that says December 2020. The year of this video is 2021, so this battery is still, still new, still new, but we still want to keep an eye on that when it comes to maintenance now. In the instance that you may find that your battery is corroded, you can always go to your uh, auto parts store, ask for a uh, battery terminal cleaner, and you can basically uh, disconnect your battery terminal and then uh, clean her up. All right, so that was battery. Now, ATF means automatic transmission fluid. Again, ATF, automatic transmission fluid, which, you know, it's a, it's, it's a no-brainer. Yes, with the transmission fluid, you do want to uh, check your service manual to read up on the recommendation per vehicle. Some vehicles say, you know, just like BMWs, they may say lifetime transmission fluid. But then if you actually talk to somebody and then they'll be like, no, you do want to change the transmission fluid, at least, you know, drain and refill X amount of miles, uh, maybe 50,000 amount of miles, 100,000 amount of miles, you have to actually check. So that's the maintenance reminders in a nutshell. Now, say for instance, you want to reset all of the maintenance items here. You can just basically click reset all and it's going to say, are you sure? Then you just hit yes and it just basically resets them all. So as you guys can currently see, it's blue. The outline will change to like a yellow color yellow or orange color which basically represents that okay this is this is due so let's click on engine oil okay so as you can see from our configuration our reminder is set that every 5,000 miles is going to give us a reminder that hey oil needs to be uh reset and hit reset and then yes but i already did it so as you can see it says i got four about 4,000 miles left I really, really don't drive that often, but uh, we gonna we gonna get there. We gonna get there eventually. It's just you know, when you buy new toys, you know, got got a truck, you know, new toy. It, it, that that new toy becomes your your daily driver, <laughs> and the daily needs another daily for the daily. If you if you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> that is basically it in a nutshell so uh yeah 
stay tuned. Uh, eventually, I'm going to order my wheel speed sensors. It's not just the sensors. What I want to do is actually replace the wiring also in the back um, and also replace the wiring in the front. So I just, uh, that wiring is the, it's the, it's, it's, the, it's the main factor right there. So, you know, and plus, you know, money and time. So eventually I'll get to replacing my wheel speed sensors and wiring so that way we can, you know, get this Christmas tree, which is the brake ABS. And uh, it also says uh, check VSC and check four wheel drive, check system. That's all because of those wheel speed sensors, but I'll get to it when I get to it. Um, it's not causing any damage with the vehicle. And, you know, especially since the vehicle is parked. <laughs> so hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, hopefully you've learned something or gained something from this video and it will be able to help you, uh, you know, troubleshoot and address your issue. Again, if there's anything that you would like to see furthermore down the line for my channel, just let me know. And uh, whenever I find time, I'll, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, everyone have a safe and wonderful day. And don't forget, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. You ready to wash the car, man?